To create CDs with Windows Media Player, click on the tab that says Burn. First, insert a blank CD into the disk drive. Then locate a song or songs that you would like to copy onto the CD. Then drag them to the area on the right that says Drag Items here. Notice that when I did that, the CD starts to fill up. I can add more songs until the CD reaches maximum capacity. I can also add previously saved playlists that are located under the Playlist category. To add the playlist, right click on it and hover over Add To. Then choose Burn List. All of the songs in the playlist will be added to the CD. Remember that you can select multiple songs at one time by holding down the control key or the shift key on the keyboard, then dragging the songs onto the disc. When you are done adding songs, click on Start Burn at the top. The burn process will take some time depending on the amount of files that you are copying. When Windows Media Player is finished burning, it will eject the disc automatically. I can also use Windows Media Player to add songs to an MP3 player. Click the Sync tab at the top. Then plug in the player into one of the USB ports on the computer. Media Player will automatically recognize the device. When the device shows up under the Sync tab, you are now able to add songs to it. The device will also show up on the left side. If I want to view the songs that are on the device, Click the small arrow to the left and choose the music folder. Add songs to the device the same way that you added songs to the CD. When you are done adding songs, click the sync button at the top to save the music to the device. If you would like to remove the music, go back to the music folder and right click on the song. Then choose Delete. After you are done adding and removing songs, unplug the device from the computer and you are ready to start listening to music. In the next video, we will take a look at how to organize our music, pictures, and videos with Windows Explorer.